Welcome back everybody to a video and today is a new Minecraft snapshot. Now we've uh, taken a look at the last snapshot and that was had to do with copper. Now we have a new snapshot. This snapshot came out yesterday and I hope you guys, um, you guys probably already seen it from other YouTubers. As I always say, you guys are probably already up to date on this stuff more than I am, but with that being said, we're just gonna get into the snapshot today. So the new snapshot, as in drips stone and some dripstone things, these types of keg, these types of caves, and uh, yeah, they just add in a whole bunch of uh, pretty cool stuff, and I think it's really awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys how these work. They don't have the cave system yet. You can't find these in the actual biome there's no such biome underground just yet now i probably will miss some things in this uh snapshot but when i do i will uh will always go ahead and cover those in the next snapshot video so i hope you guys are uh tuned, st gonna stay tuned just for that i already also, also guys i told you guys that i was going to post this video yesterday or actually i was going to post it today as i was making it but uh better late than never i guess so we are going to go into survival and we are going to show you what goes on with all of these goodies right here and we'll just see what happens here so this is the lightning rod i already uh, i told you guys that i forgot about this lightning rod there's a lightning rod so this actually helps you keep your house safe from lightning out there in those thunderstorms in a 14 block radius and it's obviously made by copper you need the copper to make it and uh, yeah i think it looks cool and it will work lightning as it is this is powdered snow and powdered snow is a uh, snow that uh well when you get inside of it you can freeze and i'm going to stay in here for a little bit and see what happens to my hearts i want to see what goes down with the freezing effect and look at that so now i'm going to start taking damage and you can obviously see my heart has taken i have my heart to actually changed and the damage sound effects is actually really uh different and i it is really cool it really cool and i have like slowness now until i tend to want to warm up but i'm not for some reason i'm warming up on a hill that's kind of weird but there's another thing about uh, uh, pack snow, and I'm also going to get into some other thing that I don't have uh, in this snapshot as uh, I go through everything. So these are the little things here. Uh, well, they're not little, and you can also take and make them grow. So you can take this thing and make them grow into big ones, and I think they grow on their own. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But... They don't really do any damage when you stand on them, but you can jump on them. And when you jump on them, they 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 do a little. They do just they do some damage when you jump on them. So that is something to keep in mind. Now that when you go and you jump on these, there is going to be some some consequences uh, if you ever fall on these things. So here we have full health. And here is the dripstone down there. I'm not really going to get into the te uh, the technical terms of what they're actually called <laughs> because I don't actually know and I don't want to butcher what they're actually called. But this is six blocks high, and when you drop on the six block high, it takes it, it takes a lot of damage. I'm not gonna lie. So I believe it is nine blocks to fully kill you. Uh, nine blocks high to fully kill you. And, uh, wow, that's something to uh, keep in mind when you're mining because you don't want to fall on the little guy here because they uh, do do some very big damage to you in survival. Now, you can shoot these with a trident and they will fall. And they do have a really, I think they have a really cool, like, like animation. It's pre it, To be honest, I think it's cool. So, I'm going to have to show you guys that this thing can fall on you too. So if I go like this, it can fall on you. Obviously from a different height, it's gonna be different from in the cave. Maybe I'll go ahead and, maybe I'll show, showcase, this, showcase this when the actual dripstone biome is actually implemented into the game in the next snapshot whenever they do. But right now, you can go ahead and just shoot them down. It's also a good way to collect the dripstone as well. 
I think it's really cool. It's, uh, it adds into the game. And I actually did not think they're actually going to make stuff like this. This is actually really cool. Um, really adds into the game. Really going to add into the uh, to cave systems anyways. Uh, I can't wait to see what's going to be next in this very, very good update of what biomes are going to be next. But the dripstone is going to be one of the awesome ones to see in the game when it comes out. But it's going to be awesome. It is going to be very awesome. The next thing we have to show you is actually going to be the bundle. I've missed this in the last snapshot. Showing To show you guys, I've actually missed this in the last snapshot. Now, the bundle is actually going to act like a backpack. I'm going to say that right now. So, you can go ahead and fill in your bundle. And it shows what's inside of it. You can only fill so much stuff into it, but that's that's why they have a lot of them. It'd be pretty cool if they can stack. Maybe that might change. But if you do right click, you're going to actually drop everything. And that is just a little thing uh, to keep in mind when you are going to be using the bundle. It might change in the future. Uh, just saying, I don't actually know if it actually is going to change in the future. But that is going to... Uh, there's a, There's also been changes around the bundle too. And uh, I don't remember what the actual like original bundle uh, was like before the uh, this snapshot, but last snapshot apparently it was different. But now they changed it maybe a little bit. But now it's uh, a, it's like a small backpack, and I would love to see more space. This is the bundle. It would be nice if it was actually more more space. But when you put sixty four blocks of stuff inside there, you can't really fit that much which makes no sense because it's almost like why are you like why have why only have one bundle that's almost like carrying one block uh, I, I honestly don't know if they're going to be changing this one in the future I don't actually know what's actually going to happen with any of this stuff but I will go through the dripstone a lot more when the actual biomes are implemented into the game it will actually make it very helpful and whatever i missed in this snapshot i will actually cover in the next snapshot which is usually on wednesdays i don't know if they're every other uh, every wednesday or every other wednesday but i will cover them none the, none of the less but with that being said this has been the snapshot guys i hope you guys are excited for 1.17 as i am um, it's pretty cool. I really like it and I've been actually waiting for a cave update for the longest time in Minecraft and we I think we've all have it, I think we've all have it's about time they have added more stuff and um, You know, I'm just not gonna I'm just gonna throw it out there But I mean the ores. Yeah, we got copper. Yeah, we got amethyst, but we need a little bit maybe a little bit more ores um, I mean, I know we are in the early uh, snapshot part and there's a lot more to be added in with the snapshots but only time will tell so this has been the video guys i hope you guys liked it and um if you guys are new here uh only 99 percent of you guys are actually unsubscribed to my channel like barely uh, barely anybody actually is subscribed to my channel that watch me so what are you doing if you uh, guys are stopping by make sure to click subscribe and if you don't you can always change your mind later and if you don't, it's whatever. I won't hate you for it because I don't really hate nobody. <laughs> so anyways, with that being said, thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.